The landmark that gave Rockbridge County its name will go on the auction block November 14th. But real estate agent Jim Waltz and the co-president of the local conservation group that wants Natural Bridge to become public say the outcome is still up in the air. It just sort of is like a poker game that shapes up at the last minute. Rockbridge Area Conservation Council, or RAC, has no money for the purchase, and it is unlikely that the state or federal government will pay. Another issue for RAC is the plan to sell the bridge and its commercial properties as 30 separate parcels. It hasn't realized its fullest potential yet, and if it gets broken up, uh, it could be a real mess. The bridge has been in private hands ever since Thomas Jefferson owned it. RAC Executive Director Barbara Walsh fears that dividing the property into piecemeal ownership could harm the area's ecosystem. That critical mass is so vital to the wildlife and, and conservation value. Once it's split up, it's almost impossible to get it put back together again. Rockbridge County Supervisor Ronnie Campbell says the ideal outcome is for a buyer to donate the land to the state. We just feel that it would be very important if the citizens of the United States always had access to it. According to RAC, ticket prices would be cheaper and tourism would increase under park system management. Well, it would be a great honor to Virginia to become the steward of that and really see that as the crown park in their system. Environmentalist and RAC member Chris Wise speaks to the spiritual element of the bridge. And it's just a feeling, you know. It's. Um, it's, it's actually what I would call a powerful place. At Natural Bridge, this is Janie Fugate for the Rockbridge Report.